Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and first of all, welcome to 2019. This is my first recorded video of 2019 and I'll explain where I've been in a second when we're going, where I've been and stuff if you guys have missed a couple of live streams that we've done uh, this year. But um, yeah, first of all, before we get going, this one map was requested quite a lot on my Facebook page and also my Discord. This is called Maypole Farm. This is going to be a short series um, until other maps come out. For example, Auction David's map is pretty much done right now. So this is going to be tie us over because I feel like Ravenport and Felsbrunn are pretty much washed out, uh, washed out at this point. So yeah, this is going to be something to tie us over. We do have another map coming as well tomorrow, so don't worry about that. But as you can see, uh, this is the map here. If I go up this screen here... Uh, so do not be intimidated by this map. The only fields that are real are the ones with numbers. As you see, we don't none at the moment. We need to buy some land in a second. And the land is just under the field 50, 52 up there. Uh, right about that area there, if you can see that. Um, so yeah, it's just from, basically, this is the top of the map here where the cursor is now. And that's the bottom. So the rest of it is just map decoration, basically. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have the Ford 8340 to begin with. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. And we'll head up to our... Uh, Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and get the head tracking turned on. Right, sorry about that. Um, I just had to redo my head tracking because it was actually turned off from the live stream, ironically. So, uh, yeah, we've got head tracking now, which is good. So, we're going to go out of here, and then it is the first right. So, I don't think there's any traffic coming on this map. So, we do need to put down a house, first of all, and I have something a little bit different. Now, this is going to be our UK based map. So,. Um, a lot of people say the Riverview is quite Europe, uh, quite UK. I don't think so personally. That's more of like a European map to me, like continental Europe. Um, so this is going to be our British style map for now. Um, like I said, it's going to be a short series. So it's not going to go on for too long. It's just until we get something else to do. But I hope you guys are well. Um, so like I said, we are heading up to the yard area now. We haven't actually bought the yard area. We need to do that in a second. But it should be this right here. Let's go ahead and start indicating. Love the indicator sound on this. So it's just up here, which actually this looks like a one-way street, but there's no signs, but there's paintings on the road, never mind. Alright, so here we are, this is the wasteland that we're thinking of buying here, so it's just basically one massive field of dirt. So I think it's going to be a good starting point for us, we've got a bit more over here actually, let's take a look at this, I haven't seen this side yet, this is the first time I've seen this. So we're heading to here, this might be a little bit better for us. Yeah, I think this is a bit better for what we need for now. So we're going to go ahead and buy this one. So let me just go ahead and move the tractor out of the way because um, I feel like we're sort of in the way here if we park there. So we'll park right next to the road. Right, let's get that turned off. Cool. Right, so let's zoom in on our quite intimidating looking map here. We're going to go to X, of course. Uh, this is actually one area, so we're just going to buy this whole area. This is part of it. So 145,000 euros this is going to cost. I'm actually going to change this to pounds. There you go. So £145,000 we paid for this, which is this area here. So now we need to place somewhere to live. Uh, basically, it's going to be our base of operations. Now we have the caravan mod. This is £34,000 off our budget. Uh, where are we? Okay, so we found somewhere to put our caravan. As you can see, this is just a bit of a... A bit of a temporary line until we can build a proper house. I don't want to waste hundreds and hundreds of thousand pounds on uh, a house. So we've got this little caravan here that we're going to be living in. Uh, we can sleep in this. It's not just decorations. This is now our house. For now, we're going to put down a couple of sheds in a second out here. Sort of this out of area, maybe. Uh, look, we do own this massive land over here. Not so what we're going to put there just yet. So now we also need some fields. That's the one thing. The reason that land was so cheap is because there's no fields on there at all. So we need to sort of think of some uh, some fields that we can buy. So let's get up this uh, map here. 64 is pretty big. I don't really want big fields. I want lots of small fields if possible. All right, so I'm thinking we buy 66 and 65 to begin with. Oh, that's actually two fields there. 152. Let's buy that. And we'll buy... Oh, that's two fields as well. Why not? So now, as you can see, our money is now down to £707,000, which still sounds like a lot, but we have zero equipment, so pretty self-explanatory. You guys know how Farm Sim 19 works by now if you're playing on this mode, so we need to find some equipment. Right, so I didn't want to bore you guys when I was looking for equipment to buy, so we just spent £19,000 on buying gear and renting gear. So let's go ahead and jump into our Ford. We'll get it turned on real quick. So we've rented a combine and bought a tipper trailer because we've got a bit of canola, a bit boring, I know, but we've got some canola to harvest. That is the only crop ready to harvest right now. Hopefully by the time we finish that, we've got some other crops ready to do. So I'm going to be doing some landscaping as well during this video, uh, but we want to get a little bit of um, 
a little bit of harvesting done. So we need to get that money coming in straight away. As you can see, we've already wasted a lot of money here. Um, ooh, stock slowing down here. I'm trying to f figure out what all the buttons still do. Oh, I had to remap all of my controls. So, as you guys can see as well, we are now back on the Logitech G29. It's just the there's nothing wrong with this. Is that turning? Is, no, it's not a turn. Carry on going. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the Logitech wheel, personally, that I find, but it's a massive farce every time I want to go ahead and play ETS2 and stuff like that, because obviously I use the G29 and then Farm Sim, well, not Farm Sim, sorry, Windows 10 then forgets about the G29 and I have to reset all my controls. A little bit annoying. We are using the new panel, though. Um, I am going to set up the old one eventually as well. So here is the store. Let's go ahead and start indicating into here. So as you can see, we've got the Massey Ferguson slow down for it. Jeez. So we've got the Massey Ferguson Harvester, like I said, we've rented this, it cost us about 10 grand, added the header, I reckon about £14,000 altogether, so hopefully we get more than that from the harvest. We're going to try and keep it for the whole period of us harvesting, but we did actually buy this Flegel trailer here, which was released the other day on the Martub. Right, let's go ahead and hook that up there like that. We are now done, let's get our beacon lights on for this real quick. There's the fuel station for those of you that are wondering. Right. Let's go ahead, leave that running for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up the Massey Combine. Now I'm wondering if... I just think probably can't carry the header trailer. It's got the hitch for it, but I mean like size-wise, we're probably not going to get away with carrying this down. Right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this header put on real quick. I feel like we're a little bit close to the wall. Oh, no, never mind. Right, so that is the header trailer put on there. Let's go ahead and pull the Massey up in front. Got a nice harvest of this. I like this one. It's quite nice. I've a bit out of our price range to own for now, but hopefully maybe one day we can get something as nice as this. Right, let's go ahead and reverse up into here. Now, in real life, I'd probably get a contract to do this, but unfortunately, that is not feasible in this game. Right, let's go ahead and hook that up. So we don't have follow me, so what I'm going to do quickly is take the Ford back, take the uh, combine back separately. And we should be good to go. Okay, so before we carry on, don't forget uh, the channel's official sponsor, Instant Game. You can get up to 75% off games there. There'll be a link in the description box down below. 100% trust it personally. And if you do have any issues with them, just message them and they'll sort you out straight away. Um, once again, I'm, all I get from that is Instagram, uh, Instant Gaming credits, which means I get discount on games. So go ahead and check that out. Do appreciate it. Anyway, as you can see, we are now heading back to the farm. So... A bit of a mission to get to this field. I actually had to jump out my tractor and run around because I couldn't find the way into the field. But we've got it now. So hopefully we can get the combine around here. We did actually get a little bit stuck um, coming out of the shop. Not because we crashed, because the tree line's a bit low. So may have to start looking at chopping some trees down at some point just so we can even get around the map. But not to worry. Let's go ahead and head along here. So it's pretty much straight up here. Now there is one turning I'm a little bit worried about personally. But... Uh, that's an obstacle we'll try and fight when we get to it. So this combine's probably a little bit too big, actually, but it shouldn't take too long. Um, one of the issues I did notice as well is one of the fields we own is actually sunflowers. So we're going to have to get a sun well, corn header or a sunflower header for that. Right? Hopefully it's not going to be too much. There is one for this combine, luckily. So we don't have to rent another combine. There's a caravan. Cool little mod, that. Cool little mod. Um, right, let's head along here nice and gently. I really wish the mirrors were adjustable in this game. Not gonna happen because it won't be able to put it on console, but yeah. All right, so we need to go along here. This is the bit I was worried about. Not this bit here, but there is a turning coming up in a second, uh, which I'm a little bit worried about. So if we can squeeze along here, we'll be fine. And then we have to make a sudden right in a second, which is the bit I'm worried about. So let's go ahead and slow down here. Probably turn our beacon lights off now because we don't need them. Here's the turning. So hopefully we can get around here okay. Hoping being the key word. Let's go full lock. Here, watch the ladder. We're good. Right. So like I said, if we had adjustable mirrors, this would be a lot easier. But it looks like we are around. Well, that's as bad as I thought it'd be. Cool. Right, so here we can see the trailers parked up ahead, which means the field is just off to the right here. Nice big uh, entrance to the field, though, which I do like. Let's go ahead and rotate this around like so. Now, how are we going to do this? This is why I like using tractors for the header trailers, because we could have had this thing waiting to go, uh, like I usually do if you guys watch the channel regularly. Right, let's go ahead and position this like so. 
let's get it disconnected for now. Let's pull the harvester back. And we should be good to go. Now we are going to have to use the uh, Ford in a second to pull the header trailer away. But let's go ahead and get hooked up to the Massey first of all. Like so. You know, for realism's sake, let's go that a bit better angle. There we go, that's much more like it. Uh, we'll scuff it on. Cool. Okay, that's going to come off easy. Yes, it did. Nice one. Right, so we'll get that unfolded for a second. I'm going to go clockwise, I think. Of course. So the pipe's on the outside. Right, let's get that turned on, but we'll lift the header up real quick. Now, I'm just going to make sure... Oh, let's know that we don't have a swath. Never mind. So let's go ahead and make a start on this. Once we've done a bit of a headland, we'll uh, move the header trailer out of the way. We're finally off making our first bit of uh, money here on the farm. So, like I said, it's a bit of a weird map, this one, but it will just tie us over until we get Auction David's map or whatever. Um, so yeah, nice bit of canola coming in now. Like I said, we do have corn to collect as well in a second, but we'll have to get a different header for that. This is the only field that's actually ready to go anyway, so got a bit of time to think about that. But I hope you guys are well once again. Sorry I've been away. So as I was saying, where have I been? I'm not going to go into details, but I've had a couple of personal issues and stuff. And of course, YouTube is not my job. YouTube is just a hobby for me. So I had Christmas off and of course New Year's as well. Um, I don't want to push out content just for the sake of it. Because I feel like it will be... You'll be able to tell basically. If I wasn't enjoying it, I was just doing it literally for the sake of it. I think I feel like it would come across my videos. And I don't do this for the money. I do it for a bit of fun. Um... So yeah, I wasn't too bothered about pushing out videos for the sake of it. And now we've got action maps. I feel like as well, everyone's content was pretty much similar. Like mine and Dagawin were both on the same maps. Lanny Kids was on the same map. Rainbow Dave was on the same maps. So I just wanted... I got a bit bored of Ravenport and Feldsbrunn because every YouTuber was doing it. Oh, we've actually hit the, uh, the bush a little bit there. It's actually got some quick, pretty harsh collisions, that bush. And it's right up to the edge as well, this field. Right, we have to go ahead and skim this hedge if we can. Like so. I might not plant all the way up to that next time. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's why. I don't do YouTube for the money, so I don't want to push out content for the sake of it. I feel like that would have been come across the videos if I was doing it for that way. So I just thought I'd have a nice New Year's and Christmas off. Hope you guys don't mind too much. Like I said, it is a hobby for me. So let's crack on a bit more of this field and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Okay, so we are now ready to do our passes. We've done the headland. So what I need to do real quick is because we're getting pretty full is I want to go ahead and buy a shed. So we actually have this end on here, the three-sided shed, uh, 9,500 British pounds. Uh, we're going to put it somewhere in here. For those of you who don't know, you can hold sh uh, shift to make this spin quicker if you want to do that, of course. Um, where should we put it? Let's go ahead and rotate the camera around a second. So I'm going to put it here for now. Now ignore the, the markings on the ground. We're going to be making our own anyway. And another little secret, if you guys didn't know this, is if... Let me just get this in position here. If you hold shift and... No, control, sorry. And then, yeah, if you hold control and then Q and E, you can actually go up and down for those who didn't know that. So if you go Q, you can make it really flush to the ground. There we go. Um, so that's now got a concrete floor. What we want to do real quick is now go to landscaping. Let's go to painting. Uh, let's go to... Where's our dirt texture? Is it that one? No, I don't think it's that one. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and start painting that like so. Cool. So you can see it's blended in a bit now. So there is our shed. Now, hopefully, that has uh, tip cogs because that's what I'm planning on doing. We, that was actually quite expensive. Uh, but we're going to be putting the grains there. I don't want to sell it straight away. Um, so we're going to be hopefully putting the curler into there. Now, of course, that had no divisions or divides. So we've got to make sure we don't actually get our grain all mixed up. As far as I know, we've only got some flowers. We've got oats, but they're not grown just yet. So we'll probably have this sewed off before then anyway. So let's go ahead and jump back into cab. We'll get this lower down here. We'll make a start on our passes. And what I'm going to do here, in good old simulate fashion, we're going to go ahead and time lapse this a little bit. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. So sit back, enjoy, grab yourself a tea, whatever, and uh, we'll get on this field done, shall we? It's just fired. Day and night. I don't want 
wanna hit the bottom Don't go out of your state of mind I've been counting one to ten I'll be back when you'll be dead uh -huh. With my music Okay, so we are pretty much finished now. We just got a little bit more to pick up. I'm not sure how much that made into time lapse. It took a bit longer than I thought it was going to, but as you see, we've now done the whole field. Now, I do wish in Farm Sim 19 or in a future Farm Sim, whatever, you could take hedges down. Now, I know these aren't giant hedges anyway, but it'd be really cool if I could make like a gate there. So we have the tools to make get rid of the grass and make a path now. We just don't have the tools to actually cut down the, uh, the hedge, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, let's go ahead and turn it off, get it lift up, we've got the pipe out, which I've only just learned how to do with the side panel. This is all the default controls, by the way, so I haven't mapped them out, uh, remapped them just yet. Right, let's go ahead and get that unloaded there. We'll turn that off, even though that's not technically possible to have the alga pipe still going. Right, we'll jump back in to the Ford here. We'll get the header trailer disconnected, and we're going to take this to... Uh, oh, I already have disconnected it, okay. And we'll take the trailer back to our new shed, though hopefully it's got it all in. I think, well, I'm assuming it has, but we'll double check in a second. Let's get this thing reversed. Also, I can't wait for a uh, manual attach mod to come out. Really looking forward to that. Let's get that hooked up there like that. So, yeah, we did get it all in because it's not 100% full on the trailer. Cool, so there's our first harvest done. Now, one thing, like I said, we've still got £664,000 left, which sounds like a lot. But we have zero equipment, so we do need to buy a, a proper house, because the caravan's not going to suffice come the uh, winter. And um, we also need a cultivator, we need a plow, we need a seed drill. It's going to get pretty expensive pretty quick. Not to mention, we are going to start doing grass as well. That's one of the main things we want to do on this map, is grass. Um, so, we don't have any animal, animal pens just yet, of course. This is uh, We need to go ahead and place some of them down ourselves. I think I might do sheep. Sheep's pretty easy to do. And there's our sunflower field there. So we need to get headed for that at some point. We've got all this wasteland here. We could technically turn this into fields. Let me know in the comment section down below whether this area here should become a farmyard or a field or a bit of both. Maybe we should split this in half and have half of it as a farmyard and half of it ha uh, as, a, as a field. English simulate. Let me know in the comment section down below and uh, we'll see what you guys think about that. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and turn into here because I feel like this is big enough for what we have planned for now. This here, we can get quite a lot of sheds into here. We'll chop the trees down. We, as you can see, we've already got one shed in here. Slowly coming together. We're like we're doing small time, basically. We're on a massive budget. We do once again. This is the hard mode, so we have to pay back all that money anyway. It's not. It, we don't have six hundred thousand pounds left. That's how much of the loan we have left. So let's go ahead and reverse this into here, like so. Now I cannot remember for life me how to unload this thing. No, nope, that's light simulate. Well done, sir. Um, oh, there we go. It makes no sense, but there we go. Oh, no, 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 There we go, that should do. So we're, st <laughs> we're technically in there. That didn't go to plan, I'm going to be honest. That's a horrible mapping. So that was three buttons I had to press to unmap that, and then I couldn't put it down fast enough when I saw we were about to pretty much destroy the trailer. So we're not off to a good start there. All right, so one thing we need to do now is uh, get ourselves a cultivator. That's the next thing we're going to do. So let's go ahead. Oh, we still got a little bit of grain left. I'll get rid of that in a second. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the damage. So I think we're going to get a front loader and scoop that in. Uh, let's come out a little bit there. That's gone horribly wrong. It does look like it has tip coals though, which is good. So it's not going to go through the walls. That was a little bit. Never mind. So I'll go ahead and fix this later on. But like I said, we need to get a cultivator right now. So if we open up the store, we'll see what we can buy. Right, okay, so we're now just approaching the store. We've gone ahead and bought three things. Uh, forgot to get a weight, so we just spent another £1,000 additionally on a uh, front weight. I've tried to match up the colour, but I couldn't... It's hard to tell which is the right colour from inside the store without being next to the tractor, but 
Here we go, we've got ourselves a disc harrow, which is a cart for those of you who don't know, and we've got ourselves a, what's that, three, four, five, furrow plow, and we've also got ourselves a blue front weight to match. This is only a thousand kilograms, or a ton. Right, let's go ahead and get that hooked up first of all here. A ton's probably a little bit too much for this tractor, but uh, you know what farms and physics are like. Right, so we're gonna, not going to bother plowing this field because we are putting canola back. Go ahead and get a little bit better angled there. Okay, let's back up. And hook it up. Cool. So I'll get the plow in a minute. So yeah, this uh, weight was a good choice because there's already quite a bit of uh, weight coming off the front wheels there. So we probably could have done with getting a bit of a heavier weight, but I don't think this tractor would be able to handle it. Let me know in the comment section. Like I said, I'm not a real life farmer, so I'm not sure 100%. But um, yeah, we're getting, I can feel we've got a little bit of uh, floaty front wheels here, but not to worry. But do we have our beacon lights on? Yes, we do. It's not a bad setup. In fact, the blue was the wrong color blue as well. A little bit too light. We need to go for the darker shade of blue next time. Right, so we're just heading back towards the field now. We're wasting no time here on the farm. Let's just get it done now. Of course, the ideal scenario will be to fertilize it now, but we need to try and make as much money as we can as quick as possible. So we're putting the same crop down, so it doesn't matter too, too much. We'll just go ahead and put some spray down in a second. So that should still be... Yeah, okay, the cultivator... Uh, cultivator, sorry, the combine's still here. I forgot about that. Well, we're going to go ahead and start in this direction here. We'll do the headland at the end, of course. Let's get our beaker lights off. Lower the cultivator here, or the disc furrow, sorry, which is a cultivator, but still. And we'll make a start on this. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I'll get this finished as soon as possible. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me on episode number one here of... Uh, Maypole? That was what it was called. I forgot the name of it already. Maypole Farm. If you guys did enjoy, please have a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Once again, this is only episode number one, so they will get a bit more interesting. We're just basically doing what the map makers give us to start off with. So once we get the farm into our... That was not very straight at all. Um, into a state where we have it, it should be a little bit more interesting. But once again, thank you very much for joining me. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. Don't forget to check out the Instant Gaming link in the description box down below. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.